Where do you see fire red like this? And this all in the same place. My friends, Alfred Montaner here in Seattle with Boom! Tyler. What's going on guys? Wait for it. We've been waiting for this for a since, couple of years. Since the last <laughs> time. What a what a difference, huh? Oh my gosh. So much has crazy. changed in the world. Yes, for sure. Uh, you know I'm in love with this boat. I'm literally in love with this boat. Don't show them yet. <laughs> <laughs> Wait for it. Listen, I I am fascinated with this boat. I love it. I love the way it looks. It looks just like a a sporty SUV on the water. This is the next generation. This is where Stabycraft is going. Um, it's taken a little bit to get there, but here it is. We've got a couple of new models out. This being one of the awesome new models, 1550 Frontier, side console. I love this. Again, a transformer, another transformer this. from Stabycraft. This boat does so many different fishery as well it is absolutely an amazing boat look at, look at how stability. deep this is in here so let me get in for you what this is the stability on this must be next level it's mid thigh i'm 510 and how big is this boat this is a 1550 15 footer yep yep whoa i mean thinking about everything stabycraft you need a casting platform great if you don't need it for the day take it out leave it at home yep the modular there's the modular gives you two more feet of fishing space gives you t room for the cooler whatever you need so you decide you want to anchor for the day i'm gonna mess up your camera alfred okay well move that camera then if you got to it doesn't matter boom windless in a 1550 right there a windless in you a 1550 it. guys yeah wow so to anchor, you don't even have to get off your duff. You just hit the button, it goes down for you, and you're fishing. Bow mount trolling motor. On the side, Bracket. so you, you can yep. put it. You can do an 80 pound thrust on there if you so choose. Keep you in the in the tide, in the, in the wind. Can you walk on these gunnels? Yes, you Absolutely. can. Absolutely. Well, they put a handrail so you can sit on it. Who does that in a 15 foot boat? Oh my goodness. This 15 foot boat is more capable than than any other. I see you got a little cooler under the seat as well. You pull it out. It's a chili bin. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. All right, New Zealand nice. terms. Yeah. The chili bin, guys. Stoves. I love Stoves this. Stoves nice and tight. We have a bait board. The bait board is removable. It just pulls up. It does have storage underneath as well, which is awesome. So this removes. You can do a ski pole here if you want. And a live well over here too? Live well. You got it. Rounded corners as well. Going to keep the bait alive for you. Nice flow in that as well. Nice big comfy seat. They even give you a foot rest. I actually haven't done that. So you can, you can be very comfortable. I'm telling you, this is like an SUV on the water. Yeah, it definitely is. Look at the space. You got. You can put a nice garment in there, a remarine or something. Yeah, 12 inch nice screen size. will fit. Yep. You got it. Okay, so same thing as the other Stabycraft, like they they have those pontoon type has the pontoons the full reverse chine uh the boat is virtually unsinkable the 15s have foam in them foam so aluminum not, and foam so you're not going to hear a rattle at all nothing. not no rattles whatsoever very quiet riding boat oh my goodness why can't i go ahead and go out a haul over in one of these <laughs> come on bring it bring it to miami maybe someday maybe someday oh my goodness okay let's Let's con continue because I want to walk all of them. Yeah. Price points on this, Tyler. This one here, this is about as loaded as you can get it for 50 grand. Boat motor trailer, max power. Um, it's a great running boat with a 75 horse. Really powerful. And uh, like I said, this one's you can you can dumb it down a little bit, but this is about as high as you can you can option it out right here. But oh. it's just fantastic. Okay, so 1550 Frontier, this is what they're Correct. calling that. Yep. Okay, I heard from the grapevine that you guys are going to start making these in America. Number one's here. Let's take a look. What? This was made in America? This was this boat right here, the 2250 Ultra Center Cab, was made in America. This is one of one for now. Number two is in production now. Number three is on the jig. So Paul 
last time I did the video with him, we mm -hmm. had an interview, yeah. and he didn't say, he kind of, I said, well, is this, it might, might be some Stabycraft being built right. in America, mm -hmm. and, and he, he didn't say nothing, right. but here it is, guys, yep. made in America, yep. New Zealand. Look how it even says built in the USA. Yeah. Okay, so why, why is this one one of one? Um, they're just starting ramping up production. Okay. So this boat was uh, kind of proof of concept, making sure that they could do one of their more complicated models here in the U.S. Okay. And uh, they have some lofty goals of building 100 of these in the U.S. in the near future. Um, we're right now just at the cusp of getting Stabycraft fully going here in the U.S. Oh, I can't wait to see those New Zealand American wars. <laughs> who's who's building a better boat today, fellas? How yep. do say, it's, mate? <laughs> it's going on. It's All right, going on right that. now. Paul, congrats. I'm glad that you guys got this going. Okay, so this is powered by 300. 300 Yamaha. It's max power for the boat and it rips it really it, this boat is on rails yeah on rails with a 300 oh. 50 miles an hour wow um, so i remember we had some some honda packages yep on the other boats mm -hmm. now you can you can fit them out with whatever you like or no y yes we do mostly honda but we do yamaha as well um this boat was made to showcase you know the first boat built in the u.s so we got a custom color on here. It's actually a, a Jeep green. Okay. Uh, we did max power on this, digital shift. Uh, we got the Garmin electronic suite on this boat as well. So this boat, again, is kind of fully specced out. This is someone's boat, right? This is not sold yet. It's not sold? This is not sold yet. What? Okay, that's good. It's that's... hard to believe we've sold some off of it, but uh, this particular boat is not sold yet. It okay. is still available. Number one, guys. Number, Number one. one. And it comes with some special badging and number one tags and some special swag. Um, but uh, let's yeah. jump in. Let's go see what yeah, she looks like, guys. Stavy Craft. Okay, so this is the the twenty two fifty Ultra Center Cap. Yeah. So this is the walk around. Mm -hmm. Getting in, take a shot of this step here, because getting in and out of the boat is really nice and easy with a step in a two inch handrail. Is that new? That is not new, no. Um, it's just, I always like to show that on this boat because it is such a nice docking feature. Uh, just getting in and out of the boat is fantastic with the walk around. Stabycraft just makes boats that make sense. Yes, very it's, much. You can tell, uh, what do they call them uh, over there? The, the people from New Zealand, ki uh, ki kiwis. kiwis okay? yep. These kiwis are salty. Yes. They're salty as hell. Yes. And they're like, you know what? Let's go in, let's get our food. Let's yeah. not waste a ton of gas and let's not sink. Yeah, and, and you know, the days that they go out and video, it doesn't matter what it's doing. They're out there, you know, doing what they need to do, catching crayfish, diving, free diving. Um, so this boat is kind of designed to do it all. You have flip up jump seats so you can have the space. I mean, just the fact that you have another inch and a half grab rail up here. So really beefy, big Important. grab rail yes. and one on the side. I love this boat. The passenger gets three as well, roof, side, and front. So, you know, if it gets rough, you need to stand up. You got a place to hang on. Um, we have a 10-inch screen in this. It'll fit up to a 16. I mean, uh, it's just top-notch. We have air ride suspension seats in this. The V-berth folds down. It's a little dark in there because of the black interior, but it does, does get to about six feet when everything's folded down. Okay, so I can close this up if you wanted to, right? With that, with that Isenglass and stuff. Yeah, just, just everything closes, and this boat's available with cabin heat as well, diesel cabin heat, if you option it in. So, you know, whether you're in a warm climate, a mid climate like we're in, or uh, a, a cold climate, we can accommodate. Um, you know, wide open windows, but we can have the diesel heat, so uh, so you can keep warm and toasty, and your windows defog. I love this. Let me tell you something. And and the, the, the fact that it's here built in America, guys. Live wells as well right here, Tyler. What do we got here? Both. Yeah, it'll do both. So this is a, a fish box. It's got the stand pipe, so we can do a live well if, if it's optioned in. Um, so big fish box going to gonna kind of take care of any, any fishing needs uh, that you got there. Um, this boat also has an in-floor fish box up front. Um, and an 80 gallon tank on this model. I love how you guys have the, the uh, 
the measurement on the actual C deck. Yeah, yeah. And that's that's pretty much throughout. Um, all the boats in C deck have some sort of measuring built into the floor, mm -hmm. um, except for the fourteen fifty, just because there's not enough surface area. What what, uh, what fuel uh, capacity on the tank on this? This has eighty. Eighty. Yep. Yeah. On the three with the three hundred. That's 300. the max power. That's max um, power. Yeah. Let's walk up front real quick. Go go, go to the front. Let's talk yeah. about the. Uh, the windshield and, and the fact that you can walk around, right? Yeah. That, that's, so that's, that's huge. Rail height, super high. We also have grab rails on top. The grab rails, especially when it's just rough out there, guys. Yep. You want this, you want to hold and on. And walk around lighting as well. That's a nice little touch just in case it's real dark wherever you're at. Yep. I love this. Uh, so your nice anchor locker. So this one has a windlass. It, it's an option in this boat. Um, goes goes right through this area and down. So nice clean insulation. You're not gonna you're okay. Not gonna snag. Pause. I I'm just continue. I just I want to have my moment again. Oh yeah. That's a better view. Look at this. She's so pretty. I I like that boat a lot. And no, nothing from nothing taken away from this 2250. Th that that boat is awesome. That's our first one that we've gotten it here in the U.S. Um, and when it shows that's up, that's going to do very well in the U.S. Trust me when I tell you that boat is going to do very well when in the U.S. That, when that 1550 Frontier showed up here, it was like, oh my gosh. This, this is a it, Boston Whaler killer. It, it, it's, it's this a, is a Boston Whaler killer. Oh, should I title that? Ah, <laughs> no. So, 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 so. Here's There's the thing. It's minutes. easy, right? Yes. And the, what, what I like about what what Stabycraft does, guys, it's easy. Look at this. Everything is easy. Right now, you want to get out of the elements. You rain, shine, snow, doesn't matter. Right. You guys. Yeah. You want to be on the water. You can. You can be on the water. Mm -hmm. uh, when you have a center console, you can't do that all the time. Right. Right. So. That's this gives you the best of both worlds. I like that. Let's see. Let's compare the welds over here. <laughs> oh, look at this, guys. Hey, um, so I'm assuming Paul had to stay down here because, you know, Paul's going to probably stay and live here for a minute to set that up. Yeah, I don't know what his actual schedule is, but he's he's been here for the last month or so. So he's been staying here, opening up, making sure everything is yeah, going right. Yeah, he, he's been hands-on in, in, in Washington, Port, Ange Port Angeles, Washington. Yep. So, so pound for pound, the most... Uh, uh, best welders in, in all of America, in my opinion, are in Washington yeah, State. Yeah, we got so, some of the biggest boat builders, um, aluminum boat builders in Washington. What What is this red one over here that we're going to go to now? Uh, that is the new 2250 walkthrough WT. Um, well, brand new? Brand new. To right. the states or brand new everywhere? Brand new everywhere. It's been about a year out, but we're just now getting stock on hand. Look at this, guys. It's okay. beefy. Even okay. they beefed up the bow or the handrails on top too for the U.S. Okay, built in the U.S.A. Price point. What are we looking at for something like this that we're on? This boat, as equipped with electronics, max power is about 155. 155, yep. guys. Staby Craft. I was gonna say New Zealand made, but not not anymore. N not this one. Not this one, guys. And 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 hopefully you guys get. You said a a, a, a goal of a hundred goal of a hundred yes that's, that's a good nice goal yeah all right let's go let's jump on the other side all right I'm seeing something over there too is that little blue stable craft there too yep that's a that's a 1550 Fisher so yep. it's it's like the red one that we first started the video but it's a Fisher version yes. I think we filmed this one yes let's we go have. right we're gonna go to the 22 hold on Let, I'm a kid in the candy store I'm sorry okay some of the new things that we're doing on the 1550 is bow mount trolling motor bracket okay up here. so uh, bow mount compatible now um, same awesome flip up windshield that we've been doing for a couple of years uh, a little bit refined from the beginning okay um, but definitely the same robust uh, that we had before uh, on this boat we're also adding the flay table because it's compatible also with the ski tow bar um, and it's just quick, quick change, remove, you pull one pin and it's out. Because we're pretty much doing 75 horses on the 1550 because it, it just works so well. Makes the boat multi-use, multi, multi -use, being able to ski and fish with it. This well. is the same one, different color. Here we have a 1450 Frontier. So the, the, the same one, that's a 1550 Frontier. 1550 so and this, this, this is a 14. 14 so, so a little it, smaller. It looks... It looks almost the same. I mean, if you look at it like uh, in a 
in, in at the moment, but yeah, now, now I see that it is a little smaller. L little bit smaller, but this is a great tender. This is a great boat for uh, somebody that needs something small. Their needs aren't, aren't huge. They don't need to go out 30 miles. They need to go out three. You know, um, it's gonna have the same stability as what we're used to with Stevie Craft. Uh, it's, it's just a great overall easy package, uh, one person handling all day long, no problem at all. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and compare real quick because real quick. Oh my goodness, I'm in love. No, no, guys, I just got to get my camera. <laughs> uh, wait for it. All right, 22, let's go this way. 2250. All brand new now, guys. Wait for it. Okay. Listen, if I go to Miami and I fall in love, man, my wife's going to be saying, what happened to you? <laughs> so this is the all new 2250 Ultra Center Cab WT is the model on this. Um, so we have a brand new boat. Uh, like I said, it's been out about a year, but we're finally now just getting stopped. And uh, this is just a fantastic, fantastic boat. Let's go to the stern real quick. So one unique feature on this boat right off the bat is this boat is designed for twins or a single. Okay. So the bolt pattern's already there for twins or a single. They have a proprietary bolt pattern here that mm -hmm. allows you to do it in the, they call it a tri-mount. So you have a, a few bolt patterns here. It's a welded in piece and that allows it to accept a single or twins on the same hole. Um, and so now we can, we, we can do a large single with a kicker or a pair of 150. Max power is 300 on this as well. Another absolute beauty, guys. So right. one quick sneak peek too. We have a heavy duty bow boarding ladder in this model as well. So the guys in the Pacific Northwest wanting to get off on the beach, mm -hmm. we've got a way to get back on the boat now. Nice. So that's something we've been working on for a couple of years. Okay, Tyler, we're, since we have a couple of people just looking at that, let's skip to this 1050 Fisher real quick. And then we're going to show the, the inside of yeah. the 2250. Okay, so what do we got with this 1850? Yeah, so this is the big brother to the 1550 Fisher. We, when we go to this model, since the windshield got a lot bigger, we're moving to safety glass on this. So this okay. is full safety glass, flip up windshield. Uh, same with the, the 1550. Now we're, we're windless compatible if we choose to do op that option. Um, this boat, 18 and below, is all foam, completely foam filled in the pontoons. Okay. So really solid um, design so you, there. A worst case scenario, you've got a 10 footer that, that, that rolls you over and you're trying to survive, you're good. Just hold on. It needs to be bigger than 10 feet, I think. Oh, really? Okay, <laughs> okay. All right, guys. There you go. I feel better. What are my signs? <laughs> So once you go up to the 1850, you have a, a full, uh, what we call the US transom on this boat. So full big 50 gallon uh, fish box that can be a live well if need be. Um, and then we've got the, the jump seats as well on either side. So those just flip down and out of your way um, or up and out of your way down if you want to have a seat. Um, so really comfortable seating position. I remember we were talking about seating last time. Yes, yes, so. Those seats are holding a little bit more though. <laughs> this time around, Tyler. Wait hey, for COVID it. did something to everybody. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Um, I, I'm behind the camera and you're never gonna see me, guys. I'm 6'5", 225 and ripped and I'll stick by it. All right, go ahead. Um, so we're seating for four underneath the canvas on this boat. Okay. Um, uh, arch is a standard feature for us here in the U.S. Uh, so plenty of rod storage. We can do radar up there if need be. Uh, two, two cooler seats is a really nice thing. So you have plenty of cooler storage, one for picnic, one for ice and fish. And then plenty of room for a 12 inch screen in, in the dash if need be. Uh, you know, most people are going with a seven to 10 in this model, but we can accommodate a 12. We have USB and 12 volt power already standard in the boat. Char keep your iPhone charged up, whatnot. Um, again, very high-sided boat. So you're not gonna fall overboard on this boat. 
This boat is easily capable of having three adults standing on one side, pulling a crab pot or fishing, doing whatever they need to do. Uh, so big again, difference price points between this and the 1550 uh, a little bit yeah this one as as equipped boat motor trailer is uh, 55 okay so we have 115 on this which works well uh, you can always go max power for a uh, little extra money at, at 140 so uh, this this boat I recommend Honda power especially if you want to go uh, to 140 mm -hmm. because one of the only manufacturers that make a 140 so you can get max it out all right guys let's go over here let's jump on and let's get oh look at him wow step. five class five star service <laughs> i was actually gonna have to wow okay i feel important now tyler all right so um i guess we can kind of like just pass right through them maybe yeah and show the inside while yeah. they're talking in there yeah, in, in, the, in the rear of the boat yeah the 2250 ultra cab guys wt what does the wt stand for you know, it, walk through Walk so we'll, we'll show that right now. So let's uh, just pop into the cab and then we'll. All right, guys. Come out Wait for it. Because they make a 25. Well. All right. But it does. So we're going to do this in the reverse. This is this is the walkthrough part on this boat. So we have a sliding roof. Wow! Wait! 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 Yep. Wait! Wait! So let's close it up and we'll do it. Yes. In normal use. So. What we have here is, is so, baby's take on your traditional aluminum walkthrough. Okay. So a walkthrough windshield in this boat. So we just simply turn the handle on either side. This stairwell comes down. This window flips up into itself. You pull the two pins here to allow you to just slide it right back. And now if you're 6'5", 225 and ripped, you're not gonna hit your head on the exactly. way out. Exactly, you'll fit just fine, Alfred. I'm fine, guys, look at this, guys. <laughs> I don't even have to, I don't even have to lower my head. Boom. We're out the front, bow ladder right here down to the side, windless, stowed in the compartment down below. Let's see that. Nice. So you're perfect there. And then you have a bit of storage in this as well. So. And then you have grab rails. Have a grab rail on top so you can go back below. And and wait, that, that's a that's a grab rail on the thing that you just moved? On. Yeah. So you can actually can you can close it up from in from out here as well? Correct, yeah. Wow, okay, that's really smart. I like that. That's nobody else is doing anything quite like this. Not yet. Until Not yet. You, you know what I'm saying? So they're gonna watch and they're, they're gonna say, Can I go can I find out where Paul's at so I can copy him <laughs> over there too? Okay, we got definitely a lot of space up here. Mm -hmm. um, are you guys making like second stations on any of these dating craft yet? Like this boat uh, was designed with the second station in mind. So this boat does have a second station. And uh, if we can walk to the back here, right through the walkthrough windshield. We do, just real quick too, we do have diesel cabin heat on this model. So very, very common here. This. This will fold into a sleeper. Okay. We also do have a sleeper underneath. Um, so this will sleep two, three people, four if you had to. Uh, very comfortable. Porta potty is under this seat here. So you do have a head on board. Great. Need be? So if you needed it, yes. Yeah. And that's always good. And I see that you got some, some speaker holes here ready to put yeah, some speakers. Ready for a fusion. Uh, second second steering station helm here. Uh, this one's made for the kicker, um, but we, we can accommodate like a flyby wire if, if you choose to do twins or a flyby wire single. Uh, so we do do accommodate that now, and it is starting to become available on some other models as well. Um, for example, the 2500 uh, can get a second steering station. As well. How's the production time, like lead time to, to, for a build? So, as of right now, I do have the 22 walkthroughs available in stock. Um, and where? Tell them where. At, at Boat Country in Everett, Washington. And you are? I'm Tyler Hawley. And course. your number is? 425-259-6126. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure they had that on the video, right? <laughs> so they can call you and then yep. they can bug you and, and you, you're like one of the people who knows the most about these boats in America. Pretty close. I don't I, like to give myself that much credit. Listen. But I was here I four years ago, and you—you you were the only people that person that walked with me. So you are, 
the Alfred Montaner expert, and that's yes. it. Yes, I, I, I'll give myself that title. Okay, <laughs> um, so we have also some stepping areas here, more live wells here as well. Yep, so this is the same transom that we see in the 2250 uh, Ultra Center Cab. Okay. Um, so another seat here gives you good access to your kicker or anything in, your, in the motor that you have to might have to get to. Um, very nice transom layout, pretty darn clean. And then you have the boarding ladder there as well. Right. Nice. Uh, fuel capacity on something like this? This boat has a 100 gallon tank. 100, 100, 100 gallon? 100 gallons, yes. Okay. Uh, I see you got rod holders there for days if you want. Yep. You got two on, the, two on either side, four across the back. So really you have plenty of rod storage. Okay, Tyler, what are we looking at price points for this? Uh, this boat with the kicker and everything is one, 148.5. Oh, so, so under 150k. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, boat countries where they would be able to get this down here and hopefully in the future, are they going to be making this particular model in America? Or maybe not yet? The, the road map hasn't been laid out to the dealers yet, but I would imagine they're going to try and shift production to North America as much as possible. So. Well, that's awesome. Well, listen, once again, I want to thank you for doing this amazing walkthrough. If you guys go to Miami and bring that 1550, I will take it out of haul over. It. I'm ready. <laughs> You'll do some you, testing you for us. You tell Paul, listen, I will try to sink it. <laughs> I will try. So, you know, let me know. Alfred Montana making a scene, guys. Stay be craft, guys. You got to see these boats if you're in the market for one of these boats. Similar, you got to check it out. Right on, Tyler, guys. Give them your number one last time. 425 259 6126 or tie at boatcountry.com. Yeah, so All right, guys. Out from under Seattle 2023. We're out of here, Paul. Amazing. Miss. Is what we do.